this time we're here with another super interesting uh, deck list. This is the third place of our Grad Cup. I'm here with Gargolo Gargolo. Uh, say hello to a public. Uh, hello, I'm Gargolo. Uh, I played, uh, I played the, the Purple Race Cup. Uh, it was a good event for me. You got 5-2 five, five uh, in the Swiss, so you got pretty good results and obviously third place, which is a really amazing result uh, in the top card. And I will basically uh, end up with, with the introduction and I will leave you to explain the main deck. So, tell And now, shout out to a sponsor, the first one being Grad, the best grading company in Europe, which offers grading services in all languages and all OCG, TCG version of the card you might have or need, which is launching a brand new campaign which you will totally love. This is basically a new cover that fits perfectly the card without the need of a sleeve in order to see the beauty of your cards and to have an endless protection. Check them out. The second one is Colin Lockland Gaming, which is a safe place to every YGO lover and player. Basically in there, they offer tournaments uh, for money and not for money just for entertainment in every format you might want need or desire that's a great opportunity to improve as a player and also to make friends in the best community for ygo players ever made and last but not least we have playmat per tutti they produce amazing custom playmats where you can send your own drawing or images making it on your own and making the playmat your playmat. I've played with them, they are really amazing because they offer best quality for their products and you definitely gotta try playing with them. All our sponsors link are gonna be in the description down below so don't forget to go check Tell them out. Tell us what your uh, main thoughts were when building this deck. Uh, at the start uh, I, I played uh, of course 3 Ray and uh, uh, 2 Rose. Uh, I chose uh, to play two rows because uh, I thought uh, one wasn't enough uh, and three for me is too clunky and uh, I didn't like to, to draw uh, too many copies of the same card. Uh, I think this is it for the main, the main archetype monsters. Uh, I mean, there's, yes. there's a bunch of Entra plus, plus the Phantasmic. I, I, I see. Right uh, Yes, uh, then uh, I played uh, 15 hand traps in total, uh, plus uh, uh, the tie deck, uh, and uh, uh, 12, uh, 12 real uh, hand traps and uh, 3 phantasmes. Uh, I like the, the phantasme because, uh, uh, because phantasme in this format is good uh, against uh, uh, most of the decks uh, in the in the format, uh, Tri Brigade, uh, Salmon Great, uh, Fast Striker, uh, you can resolve it uh, against every single uh, every single deck uh, except uh, Virtual World and uh, Trap decks like uh, Eldritch or uh, Sub Terror, but uh, in total uh, in general is a good uh, is a good card uh, I think in this format against Tri Brigade. Uh, if you draw it, it's really good because uh, can trade the Apollosa, can force the Revolt uh, because uh, has the same uh, the same attack uh, as the Apollosa with three three negates. Uh, with three, three negates, exactly. All right, and I see three Ash, three Bell, and three Valor. I right, and this is it for the monsters. I think right now <clears throat> the big uh, thing in Sky Striker obviously are spell cards. Um, I see the, uh, you know, the, the best, the best, um, news that you could have gone from Konami is that Engage was back to one. Um, I think this is the reason why you did to, you know, bring Sky Striker to the latest round of the Swiss and to the top cut. Um, explain, explain the spells and yeah, I think it's pretty, uh, pretty fair to say that engages the reason that you go back to Sky Striker. Uh, yeah, of course, uh, engage is, uh, is the best card uh, in the deck. Uh, when you can resolve it uh, with uh, three spells in graveyard, uh, you you already won the game uh, basically. Mm. And uh, because uh, the advantage you can make uh, after the the resolution of the guard is uh, too much, and. Uh, 
Uh, I played uh, standard ratio, I think, uh, one engage, one multi roll, one uh, Hornet drone. Then, uh, because of, of course they are limited. Uh, then I played uh, three Widow Anchor, uh, two Shark Cannon, one Booster, and uh, after Burner and Jamming. Uh, I played two Shark Cannons because uh, uh, I didn't like to play only one. Uh, in the Tri Brigade matchup, I decided uh, to take out one Shark Cannon after uh, game one because it's really bad. Uh, in uh, that particular matchup but uh, against other decks is a good card like against Drytron against uh, Salaman Great in the mirror match is really good and uh, I like uh, I like to I like playing Chu in the main and then Eagle Booster I thought about playing uh, Chu uh, but uh, uh, I felt like uh, they I didn't need uh, to play more than one uh, uh, because uh, sometimes uh, can be can be a bad card in the end if you don't, don't see don't see attacker uh, is not an interruption uh, is not a card uh, that uh, uh, negate things or uh, or bait interruption in general is really good uh, once you you started playing. Uh, Uh, and then uh, after Barner and Jamming, uh, I decided to, to main deck Jamming uh, because uh, I like the fact, uh, uh, the versatility of the deck in general, of Sky Striker, of the toolbox. Uh, you can use uh, Jamming when you need it. Uh, I like having Jamming in the, in the deck uh, because uh, uh, I can think uh, sometime when I need, uh, when I need uh, to, to set, uh, uh, to destroy a set card uh, I need, uh, I need jamming in the deck and uh, sometimes uh, it's, uh, it's really, it's really good uh, It's really good, yeah And um. uh, uh, to finish the Sky Striker package, uh, of course the, the field spell uh, Someone uh, play plays only one field spell without terraforming because uh, this is the worst card of the Sky Striker cards right now. Uh, because uh, because engage and roll are uh, both at one, and uh, you don't often you don't often uh, uh, resolve uh, resolve it uh, with uh, with uh, the effect. Yeah. 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 Uh, sometimes you can uh, the card can whiff, and uh, but uh, still a uh, consistency card, uh, which uh, improves uh, the the consistency of the deck to see to see the start. So I played uh, the three card. You played two plus the terraforming, so you played the three basically. Yes. Yeah, so see. Uh, uh, yeah. Three three copies in total. Uh, I like the uh, like the. Uh, And terraforming and, uh, is another spelling grave, so it's always useful. Yes, uh, terraforming is uh, is really really good if you open it. And then uh, rota rota after the cold by the grave. Uh, these cards are really stable in my opinion. In my opinion. And I see three prosperity played instead of the desires. Uh, that was the basically the biggest change I I saw to other. Uh, Sky Striker deck lists uh, around you know the, the competitive environment and we were talking about that before and I totally agree with you and you said that Prosperity was a little more helpful when uh, you know going into the grind game and you wouldn't have to risk to ban only one offs because I see uh, three plus three plus another four one offs so it's ten one offs and you know Banishing the the resources or the targets for for your cards could be pretty bad with with desires, especially in later stages of the game. And I I I'm, I agree with you when saying that prosperity is the best. It's the better choice. And all right, oh, this will close our round of the the main deck. And I think we can go straight up to the to the extra deck in which I see a couple of interesting choices. And I will basically. 
let you <laughs> let you explain it. So go on okay. with the extra. Uh, I played uh, of course three Kagari, three Shizuku, and uh, two Ayate uh, and one Kamina. Uh, the thing is, uh, uh, then you see three Ayate and uh, only one Zik. I played uh, also two, two of the Zik because uh, I thought uh, with Phantasme uh, you can uh, you need uh, you need uh, after uh, you use uh, the battle phase uh, you need to clear the main monster turn for uh, your uh, spell cast to be to be live and uh, and uh, the Zeke uh, was uh, was really good because you can uh, use one uh, when you need it uh, and you can use the second one uh, with uh, in the grind game with uh, with phantasma if you if you summon it in the grind game in the grind game you can do the same thing with uh, phoenix uh, uh, but uh, having uh, the access to to the sky Stragger link is better uh, uh, most of the time yeah and uh, that's it i prefer the, the the second deck uh, over the third ayat for this reason uh, then i played uh, ita uh, and uh, phoenix uh, ninjirsu and uh, arches code uh, i didn't like uh, the alki fibrax and celine uh, combo even if uh, i think is uh, a good uh, a good choice but uh, for uh, for the um, for the playstyle of the deck uh, with engage uh, i think you don't need to uh, to close the game uh, uh, as fast as possible but you can grind uh, you can uh, up grind your opponent with uh, engage uh, basically and uh, you can uh, you can go into into access code when you need it to close the game uh, with uh, the opponent's monsters uh, stealing it with uh, Anchor or uh, Shark Candy, and uh, I liked uh, this uh, extra deck. Uh... Well, I think it's pretty, pretty good. Um, pretty good lineup, basically standard for the Sky Striker package. And uh, moving on to the side, I think we have some a little spicy choices to discuss. Um, we will leave it by the uh, for for the end for the end of the video. Uh, yeah, explain, explain why did you, what did you put and why did you put those cards? I played uh, three Nibiru, uh, two uh, Psycho Reader and two Maester. Uh, uh, these are uh, the, the Elm Traps uh, in the side deck because uh, uh, the thing is uh, uh, the deck uh, struggles against uh, aggro decks or uh, decks uh, uh, that can uh, uh, put pressure on the field like uh, Virtual World or uh, Pranked and uh, these cards, uh, Nibiru and uh, Schoolmaster are good uh, bot uh, against uh, bot worst matchup uh, of, the, of the deck Psycho Reader is uh, for Drydron because uh, the deck uh, uh, is really really powerful if you don't uh, respect it uh, you can uh, get punished by, by Drydron and uh, I liked uh, this uh, this ratio of uh, of the entrap. Then I played uh, uh, Pankrodox and uh, Archisider Duster. And then I played uh, three Cosmic Cyclone uh, as uh, removal. I've, I've I've seen it played, but not that often, not that much. Uh, which is Shared Ride. I really like this card. And yeah, explain us why and what was what was your thought process when uh, putting Shared Ride into, into the side deck? Uh, the thing is, uh, with this deck, uh, if you play, if you play like uh, Summon Limit, uh, there can be only one uh, or other Floodgates uh, for uh, going first. Uh, this is obviously a card for uh, the going first. And uh, if you play the Floodgate, you can, uh, you can lose uh, easily to Spell Trap Removal uh, uh, like uh, Cosmic Cyclone, uh, Lightning Storm, uh, Artisider Duster, Twin Twister, uh, and uh, more. Uh, Shared Ride uh, instead is uh, 
is act uh, the card itself is like uh, a maxi but uh, for the search instead of the special summon and uh, against uh, this format uh, seems like a, a very good card uh, like against every every single deck yeah uh, because uh, every single deck uh, starts uh, to play searching uh, his card yeah. like uh, tri brigade starts uh, with uh, fractal and uh, then sends uh, nerval which uh, which uh, adds uh, the card or uh, five formation tanky or uh, I, th- I think uh, every single deck uh, every single deck got his obviously. searches and uh, <laughs> this card is really good and yeah congrats for your results you played amazingly in this race and in the top card so uh, I think this is it for the video so I always remember you guys to like this video, share all your social media and go uh, check in the description down below for all the links to our Instagram, TikTok and Facebook pages. <clears throat> remember to activate the notification bell so you get notified whenever we post uh, other content and stay tuned for the other for the other deck profiles because they're coming. And yeah, basically thank you to everyone. Thank you Gargolo for being here and you know, sharing with us your your deck list. And thank you, thank you for uh, for the deck profile uh, and uh, and ready for uh, for other tournaments in the future. Yeah, because they are coming. Obviously, we hope you had a good time playing with us, and I think we have uh, a lot more to uh, to organize for for future days so stay tuned and we'll see you next time bye guys